So last night, the Metropolitan Planning Organization voted to shift the federal highway funds from County Highway AB reconstruction. This was done at the city's request and to avoid losing the federal funding altogether. I don't think that the region's federal transportation funding should be at risk in this dispute. Now, we've had a long history of negotiations and disagreements over the issue of jurisdictional transfer. I want to point out that I'm not the only municipal official, as was raised at the MPO meeting last night, who was concerned. And when people say that there's been jurisdictional transfers in the past, they are very rare and unusual. They are the exception. And it was always where the municipality was under duress. Till recently, municipalities were powerless in these negotiations. I'm pleased now that there is an interest in coming to the table to discuss the overall issue of the funding and maintenance of these roads, not focused on jurisdictional transfer, but focused on what's fair. With that, uh, we are putting the reconstruction of AB in the capital budget for next year. The other highway will be as scheduled in the capital budget for 2020. So there is absolutely no reason why Dane County can't continue its share of the funding for 2019 and why we can't go ahead and do Cottage Grove Road and Buckeye Road as scheduled. Any questions? And so this will be announced in your executive capital budget? It will be in the, you know, I normally do not put out bits and pieces of my, my capital budget. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you right now that these two highways will be in for 2019 and 2020. And the only thing that may hold them up is if the county refuses to put in its funding. Have you spoken with the county at all since the decision last night? We're communicating this to the county before the end of this week, and obviously we're sharing it with you. But since the question that's been on everyone's mind is will the city fund these highways, now that the MPO acted as it did yesterday, uh, approving the transfer of funds, we will use our own funds, we will start in 2019, and the only thing that can hold up the reconstruction of the scheduling of these two highways would be the county uh, refusing to, to put in its, its share. And so, so how much of city dollars would be put toward this project? Rob, what's the city funding on 2019? I had it, but I, I don't remember. I seem to remember about four million. So the for Buckeye Road, the The federal share was 920. That has to be divided up between the county and the city. Uh, the county share was 1,252,500. The city share was 2,512,500. So you take those numbers and then we've got to divide up that 920,000 between the two. Uh, uh, 460,000. Yeah. So it's 460 plus what? 920 has to be divided into 460. the 460, and then... Uh, and what was the original funding? Uh, originally, uh, the county was asked for 1,252,000, so add 460 to that. Uh, 250 would be about 1.7-ish 1, 1. million. 
So it'll be 1.7 million of city funding. Uh, 1.7 of, of county funding, and how much is city funding? Uh, just around uh, around three, okay. three million. So it'll be three million dollars of city money. Then, along with the county funding, there'll be no federal funds coming into the project. There will be federal funds in 2020 for uh, Cottage. Cottage Grove Road. But we're assuming that these jurisdictional transfer issues will have been well resolved before adoption of either the city or the county budgets for 2020, which is a year from now. Um, and so I guess on the issue of a resolution, you know, kind of what solution would you be looking for? Well, first of all, will the county go ahead and, and fund, or are they going to set up conditions of jurisdictional transfer? That's the first thing. And then the second item is the larger overall issue that is a question for every municipality in Dane County, which is where will the taxes we're already spending through the county levy that goes into the county highway and, and, and road budget, where, where, where will those funds be expended? as well as the new revenues that the county is going to pick up from the vehicle registration fee. And that's, that's what we think is the subject matter. Looking at where those monies come from, who's paying, and how those monies are spent. Yeah, I guess, are you confident that, um, that the city and the county will be able to come to a resolution? To I, I have year? no idea what the county will do at this juncture. I do not know. I would hope that the discussion will take place on an administration to administration level and that we not get once again sidetracked. Excellent, Matt, this point, are you just going to say, hey, um, it's up to the counties? decision whether or not this goes forward. Right now, it's up to the county. It's going into the city budget with all city money for our share, no application of federal dollars. Federal funds will be used elsewhere. And the, the county can decide whether or not it is going to uh, put in its share or if it's going to put in its share and make demands and conditions. But the city is there. Our dollars are there. Any idea right now where it would be? Um, we'll put it into some other projects, probably some uh, projects uh, along Shanks Corners, uh, Atwood Avenue, and some other projects that we'll be doing. Projects where we're not in partnership with the county. All right. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.